Hey YouTube, Philip 20 here today and we're back inside the combiner box and I've got a couple of different tests that we are going to perform. I'm going to uh, perform a voltage drop directly between the panels in each breaker and that's going to be done with this meter here. Okay. And we're going to connect the negative lead directly to the bus bar and the positive lead on the other side of the breaker. So we're checking the amperage for the breakers and the solar panels at the same time. So what we're going to do is flip on one breaker at a time. Now it says we got a little bit of amps. So we're going to flip on this breaker here. So we got 5.96.0 for the breaker on the right. 5 5.9, 6.0, 5 uh, 6.0, and 6.0. Okay, so we got 6.0. Now, on the amps, and that's, and right now it's about 10.30. If you go back and look, we, we got 0 0.003 volts, which is hardly any voltage difference. And again, 0 0.003 volts. And again, the same thing. And again, the same thing. Now, if I had had a voltage difference between those breakers, uh, that would have told me I've got a breaker problem. Okay? So it, it makes it to where I, I suspect nothing on the roof no more. So basically it would be from here on back inside to the charge controller or the controller itself, which I hope it's not. Um, because, you know, previously I was making huge power, now it dropped down by like a quarter. You know, it, you don't just lose that much power over six months period of time of your solar panels. So, the way I see it, I need to... Uh, connect my charge controller again and that is real simple to do we're just going to disconnect this negative wire and then tie back our wire that goes back in here now we're going to turn on this and we're currently making 22 amps and it's 1030 so, let's uh, try to figure out what's going on. Now, I did check the amp amperage on all of these, and now I uh, check the amperage on that one. So, if we're looking at that right there, we're going to try to resolve our problem with this. Um, six times four. I mean, obviously, it's probably going up because the sun's getting brighter in the sky. That was uh, 5.9, so you know we did do a short circuit test, and we are at six amps. This these panels on uh, solar noon should do about 8.3 amps or 8.7. I have to look into that. I'll let you know on the next part. But uh, right now we're doing 5.94, and it's 10:30. Hello YouTube, here's some temperatures. I want to go ahead and talk about some temperatures. If you can't see it, bam, it's up there now. What I'm doing right here is I'm removing heat out of the classic charge controller. This is a vent pipe for a dryer. I've got it tied in to circulation with the blower fan. It's sucking air from the bottom through the classic, sucking it through the battery box, 
and then back outside. The battery temperature went up a little bit from what it normally does from 77 to 81. I don't want to get too hot, but you know, it's not that big a deal. And also, you're looking at uh, the amp draws and stuff like that. Right now, I'm in absorb mode, but I feel like I'm not reaching the maximum output of the classic. It, it I don't know. Uh, maybe the panels just aren't capable of doing it when it's 90 degrees outside, but I recall it doing it before. So, and what do I do? This is what I got. I mean, I'm running about 2200 watts, 2300 watts, and then when I spray water on it, it gets up to like 24, 2500, and that's like 94 amps or so. So, it's not all the way up there, but maybe just because it's really hot and it's cooking those panels. So. Tell me what you guys think. This is Philip 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. Like, subscribe, and share. Comment. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.